Hello and welcome to Unicorn Experts YouTube channel. My name is Tatiana and I'm a recruiter in supply chain and logistics. This is Job Search Strategy Together Part 4. I decided to start this marathon of um, job search strategy support by helping those job seekers who are struggling to come up with a strategy that works, with a strategy that is successful and can bring them to a new and interesting opportunity. So I do have some knowledge and I'm very happy to share it with you. Today I decided to discuss the um, employment gaps and short-term employment assignments to hide or not to hide. This is probably going to be the shortest episode in the series because the quick answer would be be honest, put all your experience in a chronological format. If you have employment gaps, address them and specify the reason why. You had to stay away from the corporate world, from office environment, we are all human, life happens, and personally, as a recruiter, I have nothing against uh, employment gaps, but I do respect honesty in my candidates, and um, I like when candidates respect my time, because if you try to hide those gaps, um, eventually I will identify them on your resume, it just takes some time, and you don't want to start a relationship with the hiring team from the perspective when you are hiding something from them. So be honest, use chronological way of writing your resume and that should be enough. Please remember that many hiring managers, if not all, are looking for your attitude. They are looking for you as a person. They value the cultural fit. So those employment gaps may not make any difference, may not affect their decision. If the reason is uh, valid and if you are honest. Uh, when it comes to short-term assignments, contracts, it gets a little bit tricky there because if you keep in mind that every recruiter screens your resume for jumpiness. So if your contract, let's say, was less than three months and that experience is not relevant to the job that you're applying for, it probably makes sense to just leave it as a gap. But if your contract was for a year or more than that, uh, still mention that this was on a contract base. And if you have a reason, for example, maternity leave coverage, it makes sense to mention it there as well. So I hope this information helps and I wish all of you good luck. Uh, remember, honesty is the best policy. And of course, um, respect uh, respect each other. This is the best, the best we can do. And... Uh, Hope this information helps. This was Tatiana, recruiter in supply chain. Thanks for staying with us.